The 2023 Volvo S90 doesn't try to match established competitors from Audi, BMW, and Mercedes-Benz with regard to power, performance, and prestige. Last year, Volvo added a new standard engine with a 48 volt mild hybrid system to improve efficiency and performance, and it upgraded the S90 recharge model's plug in hybrid powertrain to deliver nearly double the electric driving range before it switches to gas operation. Volvo also imp its infotainment system with Google based features and an updated interface. This year, the familiar momentum, our design and inscription trim levels are gone, replaced by plus and ultimate trims, each paired with a bright exterior treatment of chrome and metallic accents. Volvo also separates itself from its rivals by playing in the space between midsize and traditional large flagship luxury cars. The result is a compelling value equation, especially if you want a plug-in hybrid that offers plenty of real-world driving range. We tested the Volvo S90 with the plug-in hybrid powertrain, which Volvo calls the Recharge. That means there's both a gasoline engine and a battery pack that allows for an estimated 38 miles of all electric range, there's a good bit of adjustment, and the S90 recharge is available, with heated, and ventilated, seats, both, front, and rear. The S90's ride isn't quite as insulating as some other luxury cars, but bumps in the road are muted rather than amplified, the climate control system works, quickly, and quietly. Find savings on the S90 for sale near you, there's acres of rear seat room, with plenty of space for passengers well over 6 feet tall to stretch out. Headroom is equally ample, helped by the bucket-style seats. The low seats make getting in and out a bit of a climb, but the large doors mean it's easy to swing your legs in, it's not difficult to find a relaxed, comfortable driving position that places most controls within reach. The S90 recharge is loaded with just about all of the tech and driver aids we expect from a modern luxury car. Interface quibbles aside, the XC60's Google integration is generally pleasing, including Google Assistant voice controls and an impressive Google Maps display. One high note is the excellent audio system. Volvo has always focused on safety, and the S90 comes with a good suite of driver aids, such as blind spot, warning, and automatic emergency braking as standard equipment. The rear seats do fold down in a 60 40 split, which helps open up the rear at the cost of a seat or two. You'll have plenty of space to move around while installing or removing a seat. Anchors are easily accessible, and the copious legroom is a boon for rear-facing seats. Fuel economy. The S90 recharge is a plug-in hybrid. The EPA estimates that it can drive about 38 miles on on all-electric power before switching over to regular hybrid operation. We've also found that Volvo's recharge plug-in hybrid powertrain is capable of meeting or exceeding the EPA's estimates for fuel economy in real-world driving. The gap increases when you stack it up against some plug-in hybrid SUVs. And it's not like Volvo was cutting corners elsewhere. Volvo offers the four-year 50,000-mile basic and powertrain warranty. Additionally, Volvo includes for years unlimited miles of roadside assistance and three years 36,000 miles of free maintenance. That's as good as or better than coverage offered on just about every other plug in hybrid around, which S90 does recommend. Volvo's new lineup is simpler than before, and the S90 Plus base model has more standard equipment this year, but we still recommend the highest trim level, the S90 Ultimate.